all, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a cruelty YouTuber that is trying to have a yellow no buy. And today it is time for yet a new theme. I feel like theme weeks, theme things, theme weeks are my thing, which makes me really really happy because maybe I finally have found what my thing is. And today it's the first day in my Halloween, in my first Halloween theme week. And I did a video last week where I talked about five palettes that I want to use this week and I want to use one of them. And if you maybe want to know which palettes I'm going to use, I can <laughs> show you them. So I'm going to use It's Friggin' Bats by Shroud and Betty Bean. Whatever from Colourpop that looks like this. Arcana from Shroud as well. Meet Me in the Underworld from Louis Cosmetics. Looks like this. Moon Spell by Lunar Beauty. And this is the first Moon Spell that looks like this. And this is actually the palette that I'm going to start with today. And I did try <laughs> to match things today. So I'm having a t-shirt with moons on. And, and that was my matching. So, these are the palettes I'm going to use for this week and I'm starting with Moonspell. So, I guess I'm just going to prime my eyes and we get started. I don't know what I want to do for kind of a look. I have done quite a few looks with this. But I think I want to go with something that I usually don't do. I think I want to take this Mary, this shimmer that is like in neutral with a green hint and like mix it with the green one so doing a green look maybe a half cut crease because you know me or maybe I don't know how maybe we'd like these two because maybe I should do a halo but I think that this is oh no I don't know <laughs> Why do, do I do it like this? I want to use these at least. Okay. Um, maybe like planning looks isn't a super bad thing to do. But at the same time, sometimes when I plan a look, it doesn't look anything as I'm planning it to do. I think I'm gonna start with this Bonnie shade, this lighter green, and take it in my crease, and we will see where we go from there. And I have not like planned out something special for this Halloween week, more than like doing looks with these palettes that I've picked, because I think they are a little bit of a Halloween themed. So I'm just going to do looks, and I'm going to try to make them maybe a little bit darker. I don't know how dark I will be able to make with this palette because this palette this palette isn't that dark unfortunately I do like this green and I don't know when it was when I used this the latest this palette because this has been one of my favorite palettes the year I got it I guess and I just have been love playing with this and so big I don't know where to put it and my hair it's getting like <laughs> I don't know do I want to save my hair out or do I want to chop it off I have no idea I think I want to chop it off because now it's only in the way and like this I <clears throat> I don't know <sighs> always the struggles when I have really short hair I always want really long hair but when I'm having longer hair, I just want it short. I guess that is like you want the things you don't have. So I think I'm going to try to go in with Marne. This one, do you see? It's so like this one, Marne, and then this Mary on my lid. We will start with Marne because I don't know. I can't like remember how deep this Marne is. Maybe it isn't that deep. And I think, oh, I think, I want to take a red lipstick to this. I guess that comes as no. 
surprise because I do love red lipsticks and pairing a red lipstick with a green eye look is one of the best combos in my opinion. I think that looks really really good and I do actually have a red lipstick from Lunar Beauty so I think I will use that one. Okay, so far so good. I do like this. I'm just a little bit afraid that Mary's going to be too dark for Marnie. But we will try and I don't know how this is without a glitter primer. Oh, it works. But yeah, it may be a little bit too dark. This Marnie, no, Mary. <laughs> this shimmer isn't the shade that I usually use in this palette because I think it looks kind of boring but I was like maybe if I match it with a green maybe it will take out because it looks a little bit like mossy green maybe like a little hint of it and I was like maybe if I match it or pair it with the green maybe it will take it out and I think it, it, it kind of work. Is it the best combo? No. Because I like, I guess that everybody usually does that, that the shimmer shade is the lighter shade and not the matte one. But um, in this case, <laughs> I guess that maybe the shimmer is a little bit deeper and I'm taking the Marnie dark green and smudge it a little bit here. Okay, I think that this looks kind of good actually. I don't think it's bothering me that the shimmer is a tad darker than the other one. And I do really like this shimmer together with the matte green. I can't remember, but I have done a look with this shimmer, I think, because what I can remember, I have used all the shades in this palette. Some of the shades I have used so much more than the others. But I actually think that I have used this at least once, but I can't like remember the look. As I said, it was a while ago since I used this palette. And unfortunately, but I couldn't find it on Luna Beauty's website, so I guess it's discontinued. I don't know why, because this palette was so popular and I know that a lot of people liked it. I still don't think it misses some things. I wish there was a darker matte shade, but I do think it's a good palette and like... They hit a home run with like the packaging and everything and the back is amazing and this i don't know if you can see i guess you have heard or seen this it's like pages so it's going to look like a book and yeah okay <laughs> i don't know where i am i i have had a confusing day today you know when you're like trying to speak and Things doesn't came out as you think they are supposed to. Like it's not the English that is the problem. Because I have had the same thing with Swedish the whole day at work. But yeah, I do like these lids. And I think it they go really good together. So I'll take away the fallout, fix my base. And then I'll come back. And we have the first Halloween week look. The first of the first Halloween looks done. This is the finished look for my, I don't know where to start, for my face. I did use Ombra Independence from Nabla and Mercury from Lunar Beauty. I do love this highlighter. For my waterline I did use this one from NYX in Faux White White Smoke. And on my lips, I did use Witch Bitch from Allura Beauty. And I also did pop from the palette this 
prue shade in my inner corners and i really like this look i don't know should is it closer or further away i have no idea i really like this look i tried to go like through my instagram to see if i have done this look before with this palette but i couldn't find it so i guess not the only little tip i want to give is uh, and due to my past self i should have used a glitter primer for the shimmer because i had glitter specks all over my face and i really, really hope that i can get them away when i'm washing this off because i hate to have glitter specks in my face the day after but yeah i do really like this look and i think it worked good to have these two together and i did a video yeah when i talked about um, this upcoming theme and it seemed and i got a comment about doing more like talk about the palettes more so i thought that i can do that i think that i have done reviews on this if i'm not mistaking um because the palettes i'm going to use this week are palettes that i've used kind of much except for the whatever palette from colourpop but the other palettes I have used quite a lot and maybe okay I'm so sick and tired of myself like if I can't even speak Swedish how am I like supposed supposed how do I suppose that I can speak English and making a video and I was planning on making another video after this we'll see but yeah my all over thoughts about these these this palette <laughs> like it's 10 out of 10 when it's come to packaging the shades i wish there were some more darker colors the thing that i do really love about this palette it's a thing that i love in palettes i know that not everybody like care about it or like it as much as i do but i like when it's like this is a finished look, this is finished look, and this is a finished look. It's really easy if you have no like inspiration and you don't know what to do, just taking a row and do a look with it. And that I really do love. But I wish that there were some more deeper mattes. Um that's like the only thing I'm missing. But I do think this is a good palette. I I think the shadows works they are blendable and they go good together and i don't think it's a hard palette to work with and i don't like it's it can be a beginner palette and it's nothing like hard to like work with and i think they did really really succeed with this palette and i don't get why they don't have it maybe they come out with it to halloween i don't know what the lunar beauty is coming out with as halloween i think that the moon spell 2 came out last halloween i don't know because of my no buy i am not like that into new makeup because it works better for me not to be that but yeah, I guess that that was all for this video. I do really hope that you like this upcoming theme. And I don't know what more to say. I did. I did. And I can hear how wrong it is. And it's too late. Um, I do really hope that you like this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So don't miss any of my videos. And hope that we'll see you in the next one. Bye.